What's up guys, it's Chris, and today we're talking camera bags. Let's talk about what's in my camera bag. Now this is my engagement shoot camera bag. This is the camera bag I'm throwing in my car just to do out and about shoots around town. This is the bag that people see me with most. It isn't a big bag. There's not a lot of stuff in it. I carry a little bit to do almost anything on the spot. I do shoot video and photo. So everything kind of is in hybrid mode. So let's get into it. So my camera of choice is gonna be the Sony a7R IV. Now, it is overkill for some photo people. It is over 60 megapixels. I like it because it does both things very well. It does video in 4K, and it takes a high megapixel picture. So, I love it. Now, what's setting on it right now, lens-wise, is the 16 to 35. The two lenses that live on my camera the most are the 16 to 35 Sony and the Sony 24 to 70. One thing you also notice is I do have the labels on here that actually mark everything. So when they're in my camera bag, I can just reach down and grab it. I know it's the 24 to 70 because it says 24 to 70. All my lenses say that. I also do carry the 50. So the 50 is what I consider just in case I need a macro lens, I have the 50. So the 50 does the macro, it's tiny. It barely takes up any space. And uh, I mean, a lot of people consider this the nifty 50 for Sony. So it's just a good cheap lens to keep in your bag. The only other lens I carry is going to be the 24 to 70. Now this is the big nice one. I do have both. I have the F4. This is the F2.8 Sony. So this is the expensive one really, but that's all the lenses and that covers all the way from 24 to 200. So I think that you probably don't need any more focal lengths. The 50 hardly ever gets used, but I never want to be in a situation where I need to take a macro shot and don't have a macro lens. Now, one thing you will notice on the bottom of my cameras, on the bottom of my lenses that need an extra lens mount, are the Peak Design little mounts. Now, what that is, is it's a system that Peak Design made that takes place of a camera strap, I would say. So, this straps onto your backpack or any other thing that it can clip onto your belt and clip onto several different things, and then you just attach these to the bottom of your camera. So when they're on the bottom of your camera, your camera just slides into this and then it just hangs right there on any strap you wanna put it on, on your belt. They also make them for a clip that you can clip lenses on so that this can just clip right in. And then that can hang on your backpack, it can hang on your belt and it makes for a quick release system. So I do have the Peak Design connectors on all my gear, on all my lenses, on all my cameras. Uh, one benefit of that, now once again, this is not a sponsored video by Peak Design, but I do love their products, is I use their tripod. So I have four of these tripods. I have two of the non-carbon fiber, two of the carbon fiber. This is, happens to be the carbon fiber one. This is their travel tripod. The reason I like it is because it folds up to be that size. So it's very easy to carry. It fits in almost any water bottle holder in any backpack. So you can just strap it right in and then you can take it anywhere. I've never had any trouble with this. I use this for a full season. The entire 2020, all my shoots, this is my main tripod and then I carry another one. But it has the same top so that the cameras all clip into it. They can clip into the strap on my backpack. They can clip onto my belt clip and all the lenses do that as well. So I just do that to make things easier. You'll see a lot of stuff that I do just to make things easier. It costs a little a little bit up front to set up, but once you have it set up, it's, it's worth it in the speed wise. Speaking of Peak Design, I also use the Peak Design strap. So this is just a camera strap that has these little anchors on the end. The anchors are these flappy red things. You probably, if you know a photographer or a videographer, you've seen these things and wondered what they were on their camera. They're just the Peak Design anchors and they just clip right into any of the Peak Design little mounts. And then once you wanna release it, you just push it in and it releases and you have your camera back. So I do have the Peak Design, just the, this is I think the light. They also have a heavy. Since I use a mirrorless camera, I don't need the heavy one. You can also attach these anchors to almost anything. You can attach them to some of the lens mounts. 
you can attach them to wrap around tripod legs, things of that nature. And then you have a carrier case. What you saw it wrapped in was, I'm not sure if these are still called bongo ties, but basically it's just an elastic tie with an adjustable little button. I have them on all kinds of stuff. And basically it just allows you to wrap stuff up super easy and it helps keep everything in order. And so that things aren't just spread out everywhere, but they come in like a pack of 10. I will have everything linked in the description. They're pretty cheap and I probably have 20 or 30 just around everywhere and I use them for everything. Along with the hybrid system, I have a Sony shotgun microphone with a little miniature dead cat on it. So this is for the wind. And then this plugs directly into Sony cameras that have the smart mount. So what it's, what's the benefit is when you see people use the Rode mics, you have to use a cord that runs from the microphone into the camera with Sony's smart system. Everything plugs in and talks directly to the camera. So there's no cords. When you turn the camera on, it turns your mic on and then you don't have to worry about is my mic on? Is the battery dead? It runs off of phantom power so that it runs off your same camera battery. It barely uses any energy. So I wouldn't ever worry about that draining your battery. Plus the Sony Z batteries are excellent. So I wouldn't ever worry about that. That setup right there will get you pretty decent audio. I'm running this setup right now on the Sony a7 III and that's what you're hearing is another one of these just plugged into my Sony camera. That's the a7S III. Let's talk batteries. Since I said the Z mounts are pretty good. So these Z batteries are Sony batteries. I carry two of them in a Think Tank container. Think Tank's an excellent company too for equipment. Once again, this is not a sponsored video. I just like Think Tank stuff. So I do have all my batteries in Think Tank bags. This is just a little two because I have one in each camera. So that's two batteries. And then I carry two backups. Very rarely do I ever run through two batteries in a day. I guess it's possible, but I never have. Even shooting a lot, even shooting say a 10 to 14 hour wedding, I've never went through a full second battery. So what this is, is it has a little arrow on the top of the Z battery. That's actually what goes into the camera. I use that as a signal. If it's facing up in the bag, it means it's full. If it's facing down, it's not ready to go in the camera, so it's dead. It's just a little reminder I have for myself. I do have in my main camera bag that I use during weddings, I do have those batteries because I own 14 batteries. I have those four labeled one through four. So that if I loan one out to anybody else shooting on Sony or I'm running through batteries, I know where I'm at in power. I carry just in case I run into a situation where I have to do an interview or something. I also do have the Rode Wireless Go mics. So what these are is this one plugs into the top of your camera where instead of the microphone, this would plug into it. This cord would run to your camera, giving your camera the signal. And then this goes on your talent. So it just attaches. I have the magnet attachment, but it just goes like this and then they can talk. You can run it under clothes. You can run it actually inside of clothes and it has a little magnet right here and you can hide it and then it's inside and then they can hear. You can also run a lav mic, which I have full lav mics and everything inside the, the bag that it comes in so that it's pretty good audio and it's wireless, has a pretty good distance. And it's, some, it's a system you see a lot of nowadays with videographers, but it's a quick run and gun system. Like I said, if I'm doing video primarily, I'm bringing other gear, but I like to have a little bit of everything with me just in case, because I have been in situations where somebody's like, oh, hey, can you catch this audio real quick? And so I have an audio for them, other than just the shotgun mic. Some of the other things I carry is SD cards. These are just two 128 Sony Tough cards. Both my cameras, already have, they run dual cards, which means are writing to one card and then backing up to the other card instantaneously. So that if one card fails, my other card will catch it. I've not had any cards fail yet, luckily, but that's just in case as a backup. And when you do this professionally, you wanna run two cards because you don't wanna mistake something, especially on a wedding day, a day you can't repeat, or an engagement shoot where you're out with a couple, maybe it's in a travel wedding and you're out there shooting and you're not gonna be able to get to that location easily it's good to have a backup. So these are Sony Tough cards. They are on the more expensive side, but they do hold up really well. I shoot all Sony. So because of that, I get all Sony everything. And so I have two 56s in both my cameras and I have two 128s just in case. Some of the random things I carry 
is I carry one of the Aperture MC lights. These are just a little bitty light that does color change. You can use the app on your phone to match almost any color. You see these blue and red lights behind me? They can do that. This is just in case I need a little more light. And of course it has the diffuser on it. Excellent. It's also got magnets so that it can stick to anything anywhere. Kind of cool. Little stuff is I have fairy lights or pixie lights, some people call them. It's these little lights you see right here that are just sparkle lights. I carry a couple of those if I'm shooting couples for an engagement session or I need to a little distance from the background, you can throw these and you can get that bokeh or the little bit of creamy background in the back. So I carry two of those, they're battery operated. They take up almost no space. I like to have those in my bag. I carry a power pack. This is just an Anchor, I think 3000. And then I carry a one to three cord that has you know lightning for Apple stuff. Uh, micro USB for some of the random stuff that you charge it, microphones, things of that nature, and then a C. So it kind of covers everything. In fact, you can charge your camera with this. So in case, I mean, for some reason, if my camera was dead, I could run it off of this and then I wouldn't have to worry about the battery. And that, once again, is just something small, little that I have. Also, I've been places where people's phone are dying and they're like, hey, do you have a charger with you? So I like to keep one with me all the time. I have a mini... I don't even know what the name of this is. It says mini inch um, screwdriver and it has five bits in it. So it has both of kind of different sizes. It's magnetized, so it's good. It takes up no space and it's tiny. I like just having a screwdriver with me because you don't know when you're gonna have to tighten something, a lens, a tripod, anything like that. I carry a blower when you have a mirrorless camera. Everybody has to carry a rocket blower. Now they call it a rocket because it has like a rocket thing that comes off and it looks like it's supposed to take off. I cut that off um, just because I wanted to save space. I also made it so that when I'm carrying it, I carry it like this so that it's tiny and then you just pull out the blower, the blower fits in and then you blow off the inside of your lens. That just keeps dust and stuff off. You don't want to try to be cleaning that out and about um, either with trying to blow on it or anything. You will be blowing dust around. You hold your camera upside down, do this. It's great. Everybody has a rocket blower. Just something you have to carry when you're a photographer or videographer. I carry a blanket. This is just a waterproof blanket from Matador. Once again, another company I really like. I have a lot of Matador stuff. This is a little waterproof blanket. You can throw it down. In Missouri, we shoot during all seasons. So there could be snow, mud, rain, dirt, whatever. You throw this down, your couple will sit down. You never know what the weather's going to be like. So it gives you a barrier. I just have a large black one just because I think it works best. I carry just a stack of business cards. So I get asked, hey, do you have any cards? A lot of times when I'm on engagement shoots in parks, things of that nature, people walk up to me like, oh, hey, do you have a card? Hey, do you take pictures, this and that? So I just keep a stack of business cards in my camera bag. A lot of times when couples are leaving and they're like, oh, do you have any cards we can hand out to family friends? So I just have, keep cards to hand out. Something I carry that I think everyone should but doesn't is just a, a mini first aid kit. It has Band-Aids, aspirin, Tylenol, Bear, uh, has a cigar cutter because I ran into a situation where uh, some of the grooms wanted to smoke a cigar during an engagement shoot. So I threw a cheap cigar cutter in there. It has band-aids. It has a couple wipes. It has uh, a dude wipe in it, which is what they call a shower in a pack. It's like a towel size wet wipe. I think that's about it in there. And then I have some hairpins, some a sewing kit, just a few things that I think that awesome is to have on the day of. And it's something that kind of sets me apart when people see me, they're like, oh, hey, do you have a Band-Aid? Do you have aspirin, Tylenol? Do you have a Benadryl? Stuff like that I just keep with me. I keep that in my main camera bag. So you'd be surprised how many times I have to refill that after wedding day. I also carry a flash with me. So this is just a Sony flash. It does have the MagMod on it. The MagMod is a magnetic system that just puts this magnet on the top of your flash and then it comes with all kinds of attachments or you can buy all kinds of attachments. I don't wanna say it comes with, but you can buy all the attachments and you can put gels in them. You can put diffusers in them. I use just the Sony, but I do also have some of the Godox that these clip into. I do have the mag mods on all my flashes and they do all talk to each other because I have the triggers to do that. Um, just because I think that it's beneficial, once again, to make my life easier. I just keep everything set the same so that it all works together. Everything talks together, everything's Sony, it just works that way. Everything has a mag mod on it. So if I need to throw it on any of my flashes, any of the three, I can do that. 
Um, and then once again, it has the smart connector, which is the Sony smart connector, which talks to my camera. When you plug it into that hot shoe, it instantly just talks to the camera, reads the settings and does it for me so that I'm not having to constantly look and try to meter light and do things of that nature. It makes my life easier. Once again, I do a lot of things just to make things easier. That is about it. Um, I do carry filters. I carry one filter. It's a two to five stop filter. Um, this is the Peter McKinnon edition. Super good filter. Little pricey, but it does its job. Does its job well. Comes in a magnetic case so that you don't have to worry about protecting it. I do have the, mag the magnetic clip on the front of my lens. So when you want to put the filter on, you just open this up, stick the filter on, and then let it go, and it sticks to it. So that I'm not having to screw it and unscrew it. I do also have a, another one of these bongo ties on something else, but uh, this is just a cleaning cloth. So this is just, I carry this basically on the opposite shoulder I carry my camera. You just pull it out, it helps you clean your lenses, you can clean your glasses, you can clean rings, anything you're shooting that needs to be shiny, you can shine up. It's always good to have several of those. Speaking of several of those, I carry just several, several microfiber cloths. Um, this is just the uh, buff tattoo edition, but so it's just microfiber on one side, gray on the other, gray microfiber helps you clean your lenses. Um, you can clean your screen on your camera, basically anything you want to clean and not worry about it. I keep several of those in my bag. They take up virtually no space. They don't weigh anything. They're good to have. I carry a roll of gaff tape and this is just specialized tape for filmmakers. I would consider it like the same strength as maybe a duct tape or something. But the difference is, is it doesn't leave any residue. So anything you stick it to when you peel it off, you don't have that sticky residue. So you don't have to worry about like if you make a mark on the ground and pull it up, it's not gonna leave that sticky mark on the ground. Or on a tree, if you're attaching something to a tree or anything like that, you'd be amazed at how many times you just need some tape. I also carry a rain hood. So this just fits over your camera if you don't have the microphone on your camera just fits in this your lens sticks out and then you can still use it but it's protected from the rain you can leave it on a tripod it has the tripod mount on the bottom that's open you can tighten it so it can fit a bigger camera or a smaller camera i have a tiny lens on here right now and it fits it it fits on the 70 to two, the 70 to 200 no problem it's also made by peak design once again, not a sponsored video. I just like their stuff. I also do have a Matador dry bag. So this is the container it comes in. It's just a tiny dry bag. You just pop it open, unroll it. And this is just in case I have, I'm out stuck out in the rain and I need to cover something quickly. You can throw lenses in here. You can throw memory cards in here. If you had to, you could start covering your camera, anything of that nature, and it's just a dry bag. Now, speaking of dry bags, I also do carry one for my camera that is sealed up, not just a rain cover. I also do have one for my backpack, just in case it starts pouring down, I need to pack up my backpack. Other than that, that is about it. The bag I use is, most of the time, like I said, I don't have that much stuff. I have a few lenses and a camera body. I do live in Missouri, we drive everywhere, so I keep everything in my car, so it's not like I can't get back to my gear. I'm very shot specific, so this is just the general stuff I carry, but if I'm going to a video shoot, I'm gonna take uh, more stuff for video. I'm gonna take lights, different lenses, things of that nature. If I'm going to a wedding, I show up with a roller cart and a backpack um, because I'm carrying tripods for every camera, three different cameras. I'm carrying sound equipment that I'm plugging into. I'm miking up each member of the talent, whether it be the officiant, the groom. Um, so that's a different setup. This is just the engagement session setup and the every day that I'm just in my normal camera bag. So saying that is a tiny camera bag. So how it works is when I'm traveling, it looks just like a camera cube. This is out of the Peter McKinnon Nomadic kit. So all your camera stuff goes in here, your actual lenses. Then when it's zipped up, you open this and it's the actual backpack. So then everything else fits in here. So all my sound equipment, my bags, 
my flashes, everything like that goes in the top part. And then you just clip the Peak Design clip right here. Then you just hang your camera from there and you're good to go. So really that's all I need. It's just the size of a normal backpack. I don't like to carry a camera bag because people see that and then they think you're carrying around a bunch of camera gear. I like to carry just a black backpack. It's super padded in the bottom. Also, if it's zipped up, it fits into his big backpack. So if I was going on a full video shoot, I could stick it in there and then carry the rest of my gear, whether it's gimbals, lights, things of that nature. So this wasn't a sponsored video. I will link everything with affiliate links in the bottom. So if you do decide to get something, it will help me out. If you just click the link and check it out through there. But um, nobody paid me to make this video. This is all equipment I use on a daily basis to make these videos and to take photos. And to give you an idea that if you book me for a session, whether it be engagement, pictures, anything like that, this is kind of what I'm gonna be showing up with. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe so you get to see all the videos that I make. Click like if you liked the video. Click dislike if you didn't like the video. Leave any comments. Um, I do read all the comments. So if you ask me anything, I will answer them personally. And other than that,